Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. I got some huge news for y'all. I got some huge news! This could possibly be the 2024 Harley Davidson Street Glide CVO. So this article from Psycho World was sent to me by so many people last night. So huge shout out to all yous for sending me all this information last night. Um, I wanted to come out here last night and kind of do this video and then I was like, you know what, hold on, let me sit back, let me just digest everything, let me take a deep look into these pictures and just gather up all my thoughts before I give you guys my thoughts on what I think about the bike and everything else. So what we're gonna do in today's video is that we're gonna go read a little bit about what the article states here and then dive into a little breakdown of the bike from what we see in the pictures. Then I'll give you guys my thoughts and then we'll start going over the thoughts of those who have already expressed their feelings about this bike to me and what I've seen on other platforms so far. Um, but yeah, so this is from Cycle World. It was published last night, so today is the 20th, this is the 19th that it was published. The 2024 Harley Davidson CVO Street Glide 121 revealed. New engine, new look, and new technology for the next generation Street Glide. Now, right here under the pictures, it states that certifications, filings from down under Australia, have revealed the 2024 Harley Davidson CVO Street Glide, powered by the brand new 121 engine with variable valve timing um, and then it goes down to say harley davidson's upcoming cbo street glide 121 has yet to be officially confirmed by the factory so harley davidson has not uh said anything about this um it goes to say but it's been to the subject of huge amounts of internet intrigue already this year now these genuine photos of the bike have emerged via new certifications Island in Australia. Now, uh, the article goes into into their details of what they see throughout the pictures and everything else of uh, what we can depict from everything. Um, wow. Uh, first of all, uh, I mean, some of you guys have seen a few of these pictures surfacing around the internet for the past few weeks or so. Um, I have. I haven't said anything. Um, Wow, I mean, this is, I mean, every time Cycle World kind of publishes something, it's pretty official. Um, so I'm not going to say, is it official, is it not? I don't know, but but they, they pretty much, for the most part, whenever they publish something, it's pretty uh, concrete. Um, and, uh, all right, like, before I go, because I was just about to dive into my, uh, my thoughts, let's just uh, dissect the bike real quick of what we see so far. So, Obviously, we're gonna start by the front, right? This is a street glide. The street glide is known for its bat wing fairing. Um, that fairing hasn't been redesigned for I don't know how many years, but it's it's been the same fairing. Little updates here and there throughout the years. With the infotainment system, um, a few years back they added the whole gloss interior. Um, just little things here and there. Um, but obviously now we got a what seems to be a brand new bat wing. A, a not even refresh. This is a redesigned street glide and, and okay, well, <laughs> let's talk about the fairing because it's the Batwing fairing. As you see here, we got those daylight running turn signals here. I'm not, I'm not sure maybe if, if they're daylight lights, like they might stay on at all times when you're on or they just might work just for the blinkers. Um, I think they most likely are going to stay on for the most part and then you'll see the amber light when, when you either turn left or right. Um, but um, adding that, integrating that into the fairing, to me, looks pretty cool. Um, I, I like the idea. Um, and so much for all of us complaining about the LED turn signals. Well, I mean, here we got LED turn signals now. So this time integrated into the fairing. I think it looks clean. Um, I like the idea. It's very modern. Um, and it's like... It's all up in your face too, I'm pretty sure. Even just looking at this picture, it's just like, bam. Um, the Batwing itself just looks like the Batwing's older brother. It, it just, it, it, you could just tell it screams, hey, I'm a Street Glide. Um, I'm just bigger, I'm more powerful now. I'm, I'm just, I'm here to take over. Moving on down, we got that squared off light. Um, we all know the, the Street Glide for having the 
round uh, headlamp in the front. This time it's squared off. I like it. Um, I think it looks good. It, it, it's a, a bit of a change. Um, we do see that the, the fairing kind of curves out a bit, have a bit of a curvature when it starts to hit the bottom. Um, and I, I like the lines. Um, on top, it seems to be like we got kind of like a, a squared off windshield. It kind of reminds me of kind of similar to the windshield that's on the Lowrider ST fairing. Um, and I don't know if it's me or not, but it does look like it could be adjustable. If it is, that'll be super, super, super cool. But it does give me that squared off look um, in a way. Kind of reminds me of the old, uh, well, the fairing that they came out with for the Lowrider S a few years back. Um, this is just a Batwing version of it, but that shield reminds me of it. Um, so it, hopefully it is adjustable. That, that'll be pretty, pretty cool. Um, moving down, uh, we got some upside down forks. The bike does look like it has an inverted front end. Um, that's, I think it's, it's going to be a plus, man. On these baggers the, for the, for the handling and everything else, it's just going to, it's going to work really, really well. Then moving down from there, we got some bigger brake rotors from what I see here with some Brembo brakes on there. It looks real, real big, um, real brolic. Um, it looks like it also has an ST chop fender in the front. Um, so that's pretty good as well. I'm a huge fan of the ST Fender. I got the ST Fender right here on my, uh, on my special. Definitely cleans out the bike a lot more. It cleans out, it, it allows you to see that nice big wheel. Talking about the wheel, this wheel does look like it's a 21 inch wheel. It does look like it's the same wheel that's on the 2022 uh, CVO. It looks really, really nice. Um, 21 inch wheel at that. Uh, it might be wrong, but it does look like a 21 inch wheel. It looks like a really big wheel. Um, uh, the engine guard looks like the same engine guard. Looking at here from this side here. Um, and that's all we can see from the front end. So, so far, the whole front is looks brand new, reimagined. Looks really, really, really cool. Now, as we turn the bike around, we, we, we see those amazing chop bags. Wow. Like, I, I was, yeah, I, I, the bags are dope. The bags are dope, man. I, I love the I love the chop bags. Um, and then it has those CVO rear lights. They do look a bit shorter though. They, they don't look as long as the other ones. Being that the the, the fender's like a bit chopped as well. Um, I like the whole look of it. You got the chop bags in the back. You got the chop rear fender with the from what looks to be shorter CVO lights. Um, then, as far as the paint scheme, when I got talking about the paint scheme, I, I think the paint scheme, I mean, from the picture, because sometimes you look at the picture and you're like, eh, I don't like it, and you see them in person, you might like the paint and more, uh, but, but for a CVO paint scheme, this, this doesn't scream out CVO to me, it's just very blend. Um, we still have the speakers in the bags. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see that, that uh, 121 big air cleaner right there on the side. Um, obviously, this bike having the 121 now, which is pretty cool. Uh, besides that, you know, it's a. It looks like it's just a regular V twin, um, Milwaukee A V twin. Does have the VVT in it now, so I can't not wait to see if uh, how that bike is gonna ride. Um, this one is uh, set up with two and a two. Um, what else are we gonna have here? Let's go. Let's go back to the fairing because now from the back view you can see that fairing, uh, the inside of it. So we're gonna have that huge, huge screen. The screen looks huge. It looks like twice the size of what, uh, what, what the bikes currently have right now. So you'll notice that you'll see the screen, and then there's no gauges. We all know that the street light has like at least four gauges right in front of you, so everything's right in your face. Um, but this doesn't have any gauges to the screen. So what does that tell me? That everything's gonna be digital. You're gonna be, gonna be able to see everything on your screen as well. The speakers look a bit bigger at that as well. Um, and then if you zoom in really good on the controls, those controls look like the controls that are on the uh, Sportster S. Now, with that being said, the controls of the Sportster S and the Nightster, it's a lot of plastic on that stuff, so I really hope that they didn't use those same plastic materials. They're actually using, you know, the same materials that they use for these control handles on, on the current bikes right now. Um, just the plastic stuff just kind of makes it look a bit cheap. Um, uh, underneath the, the screen, there seems to be like a dash. It looks like it opens up. It might be like a little compartment for you to input your phone. Probably your phone in there. Probably that's where, you, where, where it's going to have the USB charger. 
Um, overall, it does look really clean. The, the, the dash, the infotainment system, everything right in front of you, the whole cockpit looks really clean. Um, very modern. Um, the tank does look a bit different, man. The tank looks like it's, I don't know, I mean, it, it, I'm pretty sure it is a six gallon gas tank, but it seems like it's a lot steeper towards the top, you know? I might be wrong. Maybe it might just be the picture. Um, the seat, you're gonna have uh, the two up seat. Um, I mean, it looks a little, a little bit redesigned. Um, what else do we have? I think for the most part, that, that's what we're gonna get at right here. You're gonna see that, that um, I forgot the name that Harley uses for that black chrome, but um, it's the same chrome that's on the 2022 CBO. Uh, so actually has that same type of chrome on his bike. Um, looks really, really cool. I'm pretty sure it's going to be all the options. I'm pretty sure it's going to be chrome and all blacked out. But yeah, everything kind of pointed out. Most of the stuff that kind of stands out to, to me in these pictures. Everything looks really good. Um, like I said, that this, this has been confirmed by Harley and I'm pretty sure they're not going to be confirming anything. Um, but it is on Cycle World. I'll, I'll be linking up their, their link down below so you guys can take a look at the article and read through it. Uh, the, all that, all that's input in the article is just basically what they see in the pictures, which is what we just spoke about right now. Um, but let, let, let's talk about if if this is actual the actual new CBO, um, and and if Harley Davidson actually does these changes, if this is the actual bike, then I gotta say I am on board. I, I absolutely love it. I think this this is. This is awesome, man. I, I really can't stop looking at these pictures because the bike looks really good. The street glide needed to be revamped already. It's been so long with that same fairing. Um, and it, it just, it, it needed this. I think it, it definitely needed this. Um, I, I, I love the bat wing, man. I think it looks awesome. I love the redesigned light in the front. And and I gotta say, probably my, my favorite thing about this bike has to be the chopped bags in the back. Uh, for those of you guys who are not too into what's going on now in the streets, the chopped bags is something that's, you know, it's been happening for about a year or two now. And, you know, uh, stunt riders are, they're chopping their bags off a lot just to lift those big baggers up in order to get more clearance in the back. And that's the reason why we've seen these chopped bags here. Um, Harley Davidson obviously listening. They got their ear to the street. They see what the crowd is looking for, what we want right now. This is something that I would love to have on my bike. I, I was even looking at my bike the other day talking about it. I'm like, well, like, I kind of wish I had like those, those chopped bags. And I even thought about maybe getting custom made, but um, I love that look. I love everything in the back looks super custom. Um, the, the bat wing on the inside on the infotainment system looks really modern, really cool. Um, and that 121, let's talk about the 121, man. I mean, we, we've been asking Hardy for uh, a bigger engine in the CVO, and, and now they're going to have that 121. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be punching out a lot of power, um, especially with that VVT in it. I'm um, pretty sure the bike is going to run amazing. Now, one thing that we don't see here, and I really want to find out, suspension so we are they going to keep the same traditional suspension or are we going to go into this bike using a mono shock that's something that's yet to be spoken about or even seen um but then there's also the frame so if it is mounted on the same exact frame which most likely it might be i'm pretty sure they're going to be keeping the traditional um suspension on it um but i could be wrong it, it, it could possibly have a mono shock and a lot of people have been asking and have been talking about maybe, you know, having a mono shock on a bagger, which, I mean, it, it makes sense. It would be pretty cool, um, especially now with the whole front done differently, but the inverted uh, front end, those upside down forks are going to give you a lot more stability. Um, you're probably going to be able to throw those bikes around the corners a lot more. Um, and it's going to feel a bit more agile. Um, the whole design, the bags, I love them. The bat wing, I love it. The whole infotainment system inside. I love it, and if that adjustable, <clears throat> and if that windshield is adjustable, that's a plus. Um, now, very quick, cause I, I was gonna go into the whole Indian thing because Indian already has the adjustable windshield, and I think it's a pretty, pretty cool little idea. People have been saying, "Hey, this is this is like this is like Harley Davidson knocking off Indian. This kind of looks like an Indian." And I, me, I'm, I don't think so. Like this screams out street glide. This screams out. Uh, 
street light. It, the, it's, it looks like a bat wing. You can see it from a mile away and be like, well, that's that's a street light. You know, it's just a more modern version of it. It's it's, it's a street light with steroids. You can, that, that's, what, that's what it seems like. That bat wing looks like is a street light with steroids. Um, it's buffer, it's bigger, it looks bigger. Um, bigger engine, um, cooler uh, bags in the back. It looks amazing. I, I absolutely love it. I'm on board and there's nothing about this bike that I don't like. I mean, I'm, I mean, the 21 inch wheel, do I need a 21 inch wheel? Probably not. I'll be good with the 20. Now, I know you must be wondering, well, this is a CVL, like, is there going to be, is it just going to be a CVL? It's going to look like this. I'm pretty sure they're coming out with the CVL first with this particular model, brand new model. And then later on in the year, well, I mean, this is what we're going into almost May right now. Um, who knows? I mean, the, I mean, Harley does things very spontaneous sometimes. These bikes could be out next month. These bikes could be out maybe for the homecoming. Um, but I'm pretty sure we're going to start with the CVOs and then it'll trickle down to the regular bike. So we might have some specials. We might have a standard version of it. So there will be obviously different price points. Um, and obviously the other models will offer different parts on the bike. Um, I'm very, very eager to know if this is true or not. Like I said before, and I mentioned it, this is not confirmed by Harley. This is on Cycle World. I'm, I'm giving you this information that I'm looking at right here. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. I would love to hear what you guys have to think and your thoughts down below. Let me know what you like about this bike. Let me know what you don't like about this bike. I know the Harley community sometimes, guys, 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 we need to stop doing this. And some of you guys, as soon as, you know, we ask for change and then we get change and then, then it's like, whoa, whoa, this, no, no, this isn't a Harley or this, this, this is that, this, this is different. Like, <clears throat> change is good. Change is good and, 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 and Harley Davidson, if this is the bike that they're making, the, if this is the brand new Street Glide, I I gotta say that I I like it where they're going. They they definitely got their ear to the street. Um, and damn, I'm I'm excited to really see this thing in person if if it is true. Um, like I said, drop your thoughts and your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, does it look like an Indian? No, it looks like a Harley. It looks like its own thing. Um, does it look amazing? Yes. So, all you haters out there, stop your shenanigans. Take a deep breath. Take a seat. Look at it. Study it. Change is good. Let it happen, you son bitch. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more content like this, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. It's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of news like this, any type of riding videos that I do. Um, any type of installs, any type of other information. Um, got a lot of stuff planned for the Road Glide at the moment, so tune in. We're gonna be switching a lot of parts in the few weeks or months to come as well. We're gonna be changing a lot of stuff on here, okay? Um, and then I got some cool little videos coming out this week uh, from these past days that I've been filming. And homecoming, I will be at homecoming. So Milwaukee, July, I will see you there. Thank you guys for watching. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.